So what are the major transformations behind the SASE architecture? I probably ask like what has remained the same and really the key objectives or grand strategy of security of protecting data and data access has remained the same. The problem is that the applications that that data is hosted in and the workforce are now highly distributed. So it doesn't make sense then to have multiple policy enforcement points um, across these various distributed communication streams and then expect them to deliver consistent controls or even communicate with one another. Instead, we need a centralized policy enforcement point, preferably sitting in the cloud, that understands the data context and the language of the cloud, and all that traffic is then steered through it. And that is SASE.